So here we go on three, two, one. And I'm gonna try to be very brave and not move. Oh, that was close. <laughs> so let's do it one more time real quick. Three, two, one, go. So when you lift an object up to some height above the ground, like this pen, for example, you give it what we call gravitational potential energy, also known as GPE, okay? And that is the energy contained in an object due to its position above the ground. And that energy can be calculated. So it would be the mass of the object. In this case, that's the mass of the bowling ball. And then it's multiplied by G, which is known as the acceleration due to Earth's gravity. So that's the rate at which things accelerate when they fall. And so G on planet Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. And all of that's multiplied by H, which is the height that you raise your object. So we know how much energy the bowling ball had at the very beginning. And it turns out there's something called the law of conservation of energy. And this law tells us that whatever amount of energy the ball had while it was being held here at position one must be the same energy all throughout this system. So on its entire journey from point one to the other side and back again, that amount of energy should be constant. That's assuming that there's no energy loss from this system. So in real life, the ball is actually losing energy over time. Well, it turns out there's friction right here at the hinge and that friction as it rubs together is actually gonna cause some of this ball's energy to be dissipated as heat. Well, it's also feeling air resistance all the way through its journey. And that air resistance is also sapping some of this ball's energy and that is being converted into heat as well. 